Hey guys, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3dsoftware.com and I'm here to tell you today about a new series that we just released on our website, www.learn3dsoftware.com. Uh, it's called DDU for Lightwave Users. Okay, so those of you who don't know what DDU is, uh, DDU is a very powerful plugin for Adobe Photoshop that is actually being used by video game companies and movie studios around the world. So we're just going to kind of read the description here of what's, uh, what this is. So it's really great for texturing. Um, and like I said, it's really big right now in the game and uh, movie studio in industry just because of how fast and how, how it's, what kind of detail you can get out of this plugin. Um, so just imagine being able to detail your sci-fi and industrial style models with adjustable rust, scratches, corrosions, water damage, dirt, leakage, dust, mud, mud spattering, paint wear, and much more, all within a few seconds instead of spending hours and hours or weeks painting and tweaking texture maps by hand. Uh, the software also comes with a with a huge library of surfacing presets and the ability to create and save out your own so you can share them with your friends and uh, other coworkers, so on and so forth and like build build these up. But it comes with a lot already on its own. But like I said, you can tweak them, modify them, mix them together and, and create your own uh, assets as, uh, for, the, uh, for the software. Uh, in the course, we'll be show you step by step how to get up and running fast using this amazing and powerful tool that will get you that you can get at the following website, Quixel. Uh, dot se. Um, you can click on the link here, and it will actually bring you to the uh, the website. Um, it's a very affordable plugin for Photoshop. It's only fifty dollars U.S. funds, and it can do amazing things. Um, in the second volume, we'll continue to cover what's involved setting up, creating color ID maps and normal maps and further your understanding of the interface and get started making awesome textures for your models for use in Lightwave and other pieces of 3D software. Uh, in volumes 3 to 12 of the course, we will be going through a wide variety of tools in DDU, doing some basic and advanced project work, modeling and UV mapping with DDU in mind, introduction to Endu, which is a normal mapping plugin that can be used with DDU and how to create your own 3D models to sell on the internet on websites like daz3d.com and TurboSquid and more. Um, and this is the, the table of contents for volume number two. Uh, number Chapter number one is the intro and then volume two, assigning polygon colors to create color ID maps. So the focus of this video will be uh, color ID maps so that you can uh, uh, control where and where and what textures go. So you have multiple materials on, say, like one model, so you can multi-surface it. Um, we show you how to in in Lightwave how to use Surface Baker to bake out uh, to bake out the color ID maps. Uh, showing saving extra file formats for color ID maps, creating other input uh, maps in X Normal. Uh, another free piece of software that you can uh, download for absolutely for free. Uh, and we move on to showing multiple surfaces, gotchas. Um, we also show how to select surfaces in DDU, uh, rebaking a color ID map with, uh, sh sorry, uh, we show how to rebake a color ID map with an anti-aliasing fix. It's sort of a, a, a problem. It's one of the gotchas that's going to be uh, uh, something that can be prevalent while you're doing, sorry, while you're using uh, while you're using DDU. So we show how to fix that as well. Um, and then we move on to show how, how uh, after we've correct, uh, cre uh, sorry, we've corrected uh, the color ID map with this anti-aliasing fix, then we move on to showing how to bake out image maps in DDU. Uh, then we go on to testing the baked image maps in Lightwave. And then we also show how to create a color ID map ID map in a 3D paint program. Uh, we, in this particular instance, we use 3D Coat. Uh, we also do testing the color ID map uh, created in 3D Coat as well, just to demonstrate um, how, how that actually works when you create it in an alternate piece of uh, software or a 3D painting program. Uh, this volume happens to be about two hours and 17 minutes long. It was recorded in full HD, 1920 by 1080 pixels, and it is in MP4 video format, and it's designed for beginner level uh, 3D artists. Um, the price of this course is $19 US. 
Uh, we also have a pre-buy special going on right now for $99 where you get uh, all 12 volumes, volumes 1 to 12 for $99. So that's uh, a good savings on that course. Normally it would be 12 times 19. So uh, good, good deal there. So uh, until next time, this is Adam Gibson from Learn3DSoftware.com and we'll see you again next time.